All right, we're going to talk about some real cheap Wi-Fi, high-powered Wi-Fi for Linux. And uh, i got some cards here that I've collected over the years. I have some more out through the house on different antennas, you know. Might have a signal on this side, might have a signal on this side, whatever you use them for. And, you know, your laptop is about, if, if you got a weak signal, your laptop is about 32 milliwatt. Well, these cards are 500 milliwatt, so that's a big power gain right there. But I want to tell you that... Uh, if you're using Linux, the Alpha card, these got different chips in them. The Alpha uses the uh, Realtek chip. And I noticed whatever distro I use, this one kind of acts funny. It, it doesn't matter the distro, it's just something with the driver that they use. The light will blink uh, erratically, it'll drop. Uh, it never, you know, it, it does connect and work, but uh, it just that never works right. And, and these come in. Uh, I think that's G only, high power G, channel G. Uh, they, you know, they're a little bit more expensive, but uh, if you're using Windows, yeah, I, I would get the Alpha. But uh, they all come with a little, little uh, driver and this little cable like this, and there's a little antenna. And these, these cheaper ones here, which use the Raylink chip. They like this one. This one I got to like a couple of months ago. It's, it's fairly new. Uh, this one here I had for a long time. Uh, it's got the same chip in it. It's the Raylink. Uh, works real good with Linux. And uh, this one is uh, also the BGN, whereas the Alpha one is just the G. So you got the BGN channels on this uh, one right here, and I don't think the name matters. They're just called them high power, like this one's called Sky, and uh, this one's more of a more of a brand name, the Alpha. But uh, for Linux, it just doesn't work. It acts funny, and you won't notice any power difference between these. Uh, uh, at least I haven't noticed. They're all 500 milliwatt, and you won't notice any power difference between the Alpha and these uh, Raylink, the, the brand, uh, you know, cheap ones with the Raylink chip. But uh, when you buy them, like this is like twelve, thirteen dollars. Make sure this when it says the specs on the site or wherever you get it, eBay, whatever. Make sure you get the Raylink chip if you're going to use Linux, because the Realtek and and most of the you know the the alpha ones will always come with the uh, real tech chip that's their chip and uh, they just don't seem to act right with Linux but uh, some of the most of these little cheap ones here always have the Raylink chip and uh, only a few that I've seen uh, that uh, had the uh, real tech chip in there but I mean this thing is 500 milliwatts and your laptop is normally about 32 so when you connect one of these on there it comes with this little cable of course you can get other little uh, longer cables but uh, you just plug this in and you don't need to put for Linux you don't need to put the driver or anything I usually just throw those away you plug that in and boom it's gonna pop on and it's gonna connect to your you know your you want you uh, put in your password or whatever uh, this thing is powerful, 500 milliwatts, and just with this little antenna, it'll pick up a lot of channels. And if you need to extend it and go further away or something like that, like I've run, uh, like I, the uh, one I have with my uh, 19 decibel uh, flat panel antenna, I have what they call the uh, USB repeater extension cable. This one is called a data extension, but it, it has to say repeater. And this is a 16 foot here. I have a other one with you can go up as far as a 32 foot, and that's what I have on my antenna, 32 foot with no power loss. And um, they usually come with these. Uh, you'll notice that they're uh, day, uh, what's it called? Repeater cables because they have this little brick thing on them like that. Not extension. It's not a USB extension. It's a repeater cable. And this is a 16 foot again. You can go as far as a 32 foot, and uh, that's what I have on my 19 decibel antenna. And like uh, I have this other Yagi antenna here, and you can connect even one of these on there if you want to get uh, some real distance. And this one's—they say this is rated at a 16 
decibel, but I don't think it's a 16. I think it's kind of weak. But this cable here, so you can unscrew this antenna out of here, and this cable will connect. It's called the, uh, this connector here is the RP SMA, and most of them are, you know, got a, they're connected right onto the antenna. But like my 19 decibel antenna, it has the uh, pigtail. It just has an RP SMA pigtail that goes into the in male and connects to the antenna that way. But just running one of these antennas and connecting this onto this antenna and then running this into your USB, this is a strong system here. And let me tell you why. Every three decibels gain, you know, doubles your power. So you, let me explain. So this thing is starting off with 500 milliwatts, okay? Now, like my 19 decibel antenna, uh, three will go into 19, how many times? Six times. So let's start with 500 milliwatt. The first three decibels, now I have one watt. The next three decibels, I doubled my power to two watts. The next three decibels, I got uh, uh, four watts. The next three decibels, I have eight watts. The next three decibels, I have uh, 16 watts. And then the last, I have 32 watts. That's a lot of power. And just, you know, just these things by themselves. Let's say you have a, a laptop that's going into another room away from your router, and it's just real weak. Just get one of these with this little antenna right here. You'll be surprised at the power you're going to get just with that little setup right there. And if you're using Linux, you don't need that uh, software there. And they're they're real cheap, twelve, thirteen dollars. Uh, the you know you just you know make sure they, they they come in different name brands. I've seen a lot of these on eBay right now. They just say high power, and uh, like this one I got a couple months ago. I said, and uh, this one I got years ago. Uh, when I used to use Windows, and it works real good with Windows, but it acts funny with uh, Linux. They, and something with that uh, Realtek chip. It, you know, the light blinks real fast and just acts funny. But all these little cheap ones like this with the Raylink chip, they work real good with Linux, and they're cheap. So for some real cheap, high-powered Wi-Fi, get these little cards here with the Raylink chip. Can't go wrong with them, and uh, these are uh, again BGN, and uh, you know these little cables. If you need to extend it, just a cable. Uh, like some of these, I don't know what the plug that is. Little USB, mini USB. Like my cameras use this. This is just that same little, little USB that some cameras use, and I have longer ones. If you just need to go a little bit longer, I have some that are like three foot. But again, if you need to extend it get you a repeater cable then you can plug that into here and then into your laptop and you can you know go a long distance without uh, any data loss it, it, no power loss it'll still be super strong and I just wanted to show those if y'all need looking for something that uh, uh, for Linux some high-powered uh, uh, you know cards to, to strengthen your uh, Wi-Fi just make sure you don't get the uh, real tech for if you're using Linux because they just act funny and it's it, and you know I've tried different distros so I, I don't know what it is uh, it's just something with the chip so when you're looking for one make sure it is the Raylink uh, I'll put in the description what it is the Raylink chip and that's all it needs as long as it's the Raylink chip and you plug it in, you won't need to load the drivers or anything like that. It plugs right in, bam, ready to go. And you'll have some super strong, cheap Wi-Fi. Okay, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. But I just wanted to show you all some of uh, these little cards that I have. And uh, what's the best ones for uh, Linux. And I guess that's it. All right.